Dr. Delilah Fitz, I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night. There was no returning I to need my to know why Delilah can't be killed. Looking Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Dust District. Hmm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Paolo's not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner, and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups of Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with the skiff. Take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish.
soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use, then stabbed to death or What? Oh, you don't stand a chance in <laughs> Stay hidden forever. One of us is down. I wonder who that was. No. Silver dust out of my ears. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All out of the first. It's in my sleep. doing reconnaissance talking to people the overseers and the howlers have divided up the district just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you but further on 
The Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Living a soft life. I'll cut you in half. Hey, you're gonna pay for his death. <laughs> you fight like shit. Come on. Come on. Let's finish this. Got. What? what? Maybe you didn't hear. Ha! 
Howlers of the law now. You shouldn't have wandered outside without bodyguards, milady. Think you look tough hiding your oh. You and me now. Person can't breathe. <clears throat> so much dust. Hmm.
dead heretic. Always good news. Heathen or no, you have done us a good deed. And for that, we are all grateful. Oh, I'll never get used to it. Huh. Good riddance. Uh, Someone! Oh, leave me alone, filthy beast! Come back here! Oh, oh, what a What's going on here? Oh, what the... Did you hear that? Oh well. Brother! What do you hide under that mask? The mark of the outsider? If huh? Paolo is really finished, we have our adherence to the strictures to thank. Hmm. Nothing more. If that was a rat, it was a fat one. I wonder who that, that was. Anything yet, brother? Look everywhere! I could swear I saw someone. Let's find this interloper. We must find... We Stop until you've been dug from your hole, coward! I can smell the stench of heresy. So close. Uh. I'll find Hello? you. Hello? Know. Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Who's there? <clears throat> the roving feet. They love to trespass. Souls blackened with all men. Someone there. Hello? Huh? I didn't see the one coming. You're doing good work here. Rest assured, you have our attention. But we have found more than Proof that you've beaten Paolo. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne. But for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes. We do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me, and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Bird. As will I, Assassin. Take our friend here away.
you find what you're looking for. I am so close to something grand here in Karnaka. Called an experiment. With only a few moves, I could be inside the Duke's palace, running all of Circonos. Imagine that. One of the Isles, in full alignment with the Seven Strictures. It's not something you could know, but in my time I've been in the company of many members of your order, including two High Overseers. Some were good men, some were not. So forgive me if I hesitate to fully embrace that thought. Careful what you say. The Abbey has a long memory. I assure you, if I get influence over this country, I will find a way to serve the Empire and the Abbey. Which is much more than you can say for Duke Luca Bell. But go in peace. For now. If you really are a friend to the Abbey, spread the word and live by the strictures. Looks like the truce has ended. Mm. understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick. Like he wore it. This was built by Kieran Jindosh. Very smart. He was the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money. I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. She holds the Let's go. Hole, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions.
the information was correct. 